had to get Mike to stay up here with me for a second. Um, uh, first, Mike, thanks for the kind words. Really appreciate that, and thank you for your leadership of this organization. Uh, we are all in your debt, and as a token of our esteem, we would like to present you with the CSI obelisk, and Bob's going to help me do that, so congratulations. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Um, let me say at the outset that I'm extremely honored uh, to be assuming the chairmanship of CSI. Uh, I don't believe there's any organization which has done more to promote the mutual uh, benefits of enhanced and liberalized uh, trade and services uh, here in the United States or indeed around the world uh, than CSI. Uh, this organization has worked uh, tirelessly with uh, governments around the world as well as with the counterpart organizations and I look forward to uh, working with the CSI membership and uh, the board to advance uh, the mission of this organization. I would also like to join Mike in thanking uh, Bob Vastine, uh, John Goyer, Eric Toy and the entire uh, team and the membership of this organization which has really made uh, today possible. We're honored to have the ministers, ambassadors, and special guests, and I'd like to also add my welcome to all of you uh, to this summit. This is a significant uh, milestone to have such an impressive group of leaders uh, with us for the next couple of days, and we appreciate the participation of all of you very much. At MetLife, as with any other global company, we recognize that in order to grow our business, we must reach the 95% of consumers uh, who are living and working outside the United States. In times of financial crisis particularly, the importance of financial stability and security for people around the world is clearer than ever it is important to recognize that when we grow creating jobs outside the United States, we are also creating jobs inside the United States. Indeed, in services, our principal export is our expertise. So we have to remind ourselves that economic growth is a multilateral event, making communication among the leaders in this room and around the world absolutely essential. CSI members strongly support an ambitious Doha round. We equally support the bilateral FTAs that have been negotiated between the United States, Panama, Colombia, and Korea. The ability of multinationals to succeed in foreign markets often marked by discriminatory regulatory regimes, depends upon the success of our keynote speaker, Ambassador Ron Kirk, and the trade ministers and other leaders assembled in this room. It is now my pleasure to introduce the United States Trade Representative, Ambassador Kirk. Ambassador Ron Kirk has more than 25 years of diverse legislative and economic experience on the local, state, and national levels. As the mayor of Dallas, Texas, Ambassador Kirk expanded the city's reach to the world through a range of programs, including numerous trade missions. His economic development efforts helped to secure 45,000 jobs and the investment of more than $3.5 billion in Dallas. His unique experience in the state of Texas has placed him at the center of domestic discussions about the role of free trade and economic development policy. Indeed, he built his career where the rubber meets the road on trade policy in America's cities and communities. His presence with us today demonstrates Ambassador Kirk's commitment to liberalizing trade and services. Ambassador Kirk, we thank you for your efforts, salute you for your vision, to move forward the U.S. trade agenda at a time when it is not politically easy, and look forward to hearing your words today. 
Let me say that if we have time at the end, I believe Ambassador Kirk will take a few questions and I'll come back to set some ground rules for that. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Ambassador Ron Kirk.